Good morning, dear students, and welcome to the second part of 5e Write. Please get prepared and open your student's book, page 69. We have two objectives for today's lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Organize ideas through completing a writing plan of an email accurately. Compose an email responding to suggestions using correct writing mechanisms. Let's get started with this activity. Match each one of the following phrases and sentences with a correct category. Pause the video for a while and try to do it by yourself. Are you ready? Let's check your answers. What do you suggest? Excellent. Asking for suggestions. Yes, let's do that. That's right. Responding to suggestions. I suggest we visit Katara. Very good. Making suggestions. That's a great idea. Well done. Responding to suggestions. Let's go to the desert. Great job. Making suggestions. And finally, what do you say? Amazing! Asking for suggestions. Great job, dear students. Now let's continue with the writing task, page 69. Do you remember, dear students, why is Nusrat writing to Umar? Excellent, because they are organizing a day trip for some visitors from abroad. How many paragraphs does the email have? That's right, four paragraphs. Now imagine that you are Umar. Write an email replying to Nusrat. After greeting Nusrat, you can begin your opening paragraph with one of the following. You can say, I appreciate your suggestion that we. Thank you for suggesting that we. Thanks for your suggestions. Thanks for your email. Or thank you for your ideas. Once you are done with thanking Nusrat for his suggestions and ideas and stating the reason for writing this email, respond to Nusrat's suggestions in the second paragraph. Say which suggestions you like and provide your reasons for that and the ones you don't like and again explain why. You can use some of the sentences and phrases in your student's book, page 69. Yes, let's do that. That sounds great. That's a great idea. The only problem is that, if there is a problem, no, I don't think so, if you don't agree, or I think I would prefer to. In the third paragraph, write your own suggestions and ideas for this day trip. Keep in mind, dear students, that you can use some of the sentences and phrases in your student's book, page 69. 
you have a lot and all of them are very helpful. You can use let's. How about or what about? We could. I suggest we. Why don't we? Or what do you think about? In the closing paragraph, ask Nusrat about his opinion of your suggestions. Again, you can go back to the table, page 69, in your student's book and use some of the sentences or phrases. You can use where, when, or what should we, what do you think we should do, what do you suggest, do you think we should? Or what do you say? Now please open your workbook, page 74. And let's complete the writing plan. This plan will help you organize your ideas before you start writing your email responding to Nusrat's suggestions. What's the first thing to do? Excellent. Greet the person you are writing to. To whom are you going to write? To Nusrat, correct. So you can greet Nusrat with Dear Nusrat, Hi Nusrat, or Hello Nusrat. Now what's the next step? Perfect. The opening paragraph. First, thank the person for responding. You can say, thanks for your email. Thank you for your suggestions. I appreciate your suggestions, etc. Then say why you are writing. I'm excited about the British students' visit. And I think we will have fun. For example, as we said before, in the second paragraph, you have to respond to Nusrat's suggestions. Use one of the sentences or phrases mentioned before. You can say, for example, I'm glad that you liked the idea about. Then in the third paragraph, Start making your own suggestions. Choose one of the sentences or phrases mentioned before. For example, you can say, I suggest going on a day trip too. In the fourth paragraph, ask for suggestions or opinion. Please tell me what you think of these suggestions. Don't forget to sign off your email. You can say right back soon, take care, best regards, then write Umar. Let's have a look at this model. How does the writer begin his email? Excellent. Greeting the person he is writing to. Dear Nusrat, what about the opening paragraph? That's right. He thanks the person for responding. Then he mentions the reason why he's writing. Thank you for your suggestions. I'm really excited about the British students' visit and I think we will have a lot of fun. Have a look at the second paragraph. What's the purpose of this paragraph? You are amazing. Responding to suggestions. He starts with the idea of the Dow tour. Then he moves to the idea of driving to Purple Island. He likes that idea and provides the reason. Because it won't be very expensive. Finally, 
He talks about the desert camping idea. He thinks it's difficult to organize. In the third paragraph, the writer starts making suggestions. What are his suggestions? Well done. He suggests going on a day trip to the desert to give the students the chance to try sandboarding and camel rides. He also suggests taking the group to the MIA Museum so they can learn about the Qatari culture. Now, what's the purpose of the fourth paragraph? Great job! Asking for suggestions and opinion. Tell me what you think of these suggestions. Finally, he signs off his email. Now it's time to write your own email responding to Nusrat's suggestions in your workbook, page 75. Keep in mind, dear students, that you are going to write four paragraphs. Begin with the greeting and move to the opening paragraph. Thank the person for responding and mention the reason why you are writing this email. Then write three paragraphs, one for responding to suggestions, mention the suggestions you like and the ones you don't like, providing the reasons one for making your own suggestions, and the last paragraph for asking for suggestions and opinion. Finally, don't forget, dear students, to write a signature ending. Have a look at this tip. Use the following checklist to help you improve your writing. Check the features below in your writing and tick each box when you are sure about it. Check capital letters. Make sure you use capital letters at the beginning of the sentence or when you are writing names of people or places or titles of organizations, for example. Use the right punctuation. Check spelling. Make sure you don't have spelling mistakes. Check word order. And make sure your paragraphs are also in the logical order. Start with the greeting then move to the opening paragraph, then the main part, then the closing paragraph, and finally, the signature ending. Use the right grammar. Choose the correct tense. Make sure you use various vocabulary. Make sure you use conjunctions. Linking words. Set phrases whenever applicable. Heading whenever applicable. Thank you for watching, dear students. Until next time, stay safe.